Scott Button, one of the founding partners of the Maryland-based Orchard Point Oyster Company, calls himself a farmer, even though he works in the water, that of the Chesapeake Bay, the largest estuary in the United States. Farming oysters, by its very definition, it's, it's an ag practice. It's considered aquaculture, which is considered agriculture. We're controlling the oyster the whole way throughout its life cycle, controlling the environment it's raised in. Oysters are living water filters. They take in dirty water, filter the impurities, and release it back into their aquatic environment. Oysters are filter feeders, which means that in order to eat, they suck in water from the environment. They bring that water in and they filter it over their gills. And it's a really important service that oysters provide, actually. Plus, the state government plays a role in ensuring food safety. And then, you know, the Department of Environment does monitoring of all our lease sites and all the shellfish areas in the bay. And they're making sure that, um, you know, the, the water quality is good for human consumption. Oysters are a pivotal part of a Chesapeake Oyster Alliance plan to restore the water quality of the Chesapeake Bay, an arm of the Atlantic Ocean that extends into the U.S. states of Virginia and Maryland. The Alliance is a coalition of more than 80 groups who want to add a total of 10 billion oysters to the bay by 2025. And oyster farmers, like Budden, are an important part of that plan. You know, we, we view our product as, as very sustainable and restorative. So it's sustainable in the fact that we can keep doing it because we're only taking out what we're putting in. But, you know, the reality is we take out less than we plant. And the oysters that Budden is taking out of the bay are special. Not all oysters are created equal, right? Um, oysters are one of those things where the terroir you will, or where they are raised, uh, determines what their flavor profile is. You know, Scots oysters are unique in that they tend to have fuller cups than, than what you see. The benefit of having the oysters in the bay is that they're processing the water and helping to keep it, to keep it clean. It's a business, but for Budden, it's also a chance to help ensure that generations to come can enjoy the Chesapeake Bay and the oysters that come out of it. The more we can do to you know, educate folks as well as try to help make the change or turn the tide, so to speak, in terms of the, the degradation of water quality, the, 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 the better off we're going to be, I think. Keith Lane for VOA News, Maryland.